In this video, we will be reviewing what to consider when attaching something to your clay pot. We'll be discussing the, the difference in 2D and 3D figures that you can attach. When considering whether to make something 2D or 3D, you can think of it as in cutting something out from like a flat like pancake or slab. That would be a 2D form, like basically tracing a stencil or cutting something out that's flat, like a piece of paper, really. Whereas a 3D form is when you're actually modeling it. You're creating something that has sides and edges and depth. And so um, you need to think about what look you want for your final. So here I am going to just cut out a really simple basic shape. It's a leaf. Um, you can still add some textures to like a simple shape like this and attach this to your clay pot and you will send the message that this is a leaf. Another option you can do is to actually model it. So we're going to make a 3D form. Um, think of this as just as if you were playing with Play-Doh. So I kind of started out with like a round ball and then I can kind of squeeze and squish certain areas to make it look a little bit more dynamic than just a 2D cutout. Um, both options are great, but if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can make a 3D form instead. So here I'm carving some of the areas away. I'm kind of bending and twisting a little bit just to, ha just to give it a little bit more life than just a flat cutout. Um, I feel like there's a lot more opportunities to give like your uh, figures a little more character and to make them a little bit more unique and special to you. Still portraying that this is indeed a leaf, but it just looks a little bit more dynamic and like you've put a little bit more effort in than just a flat cutout. I'm gonna show you one more quick example of the 2D versus 3D concept when it comes to clay. So I rolled out a slab and I am cutting out a flower. Um, this is just gonna be a flat, like cut out from like a stencil type of look. Um, I can still add my textures and portray the message that I want a flower. Here I'm going to model a 3D flower that's like formed. So I started out with some little like rock shapes and I'm just using the pad of my thumb and fingers to create a petal. So here, you can tell it takes me a bit more time and effort. I have to slip and score and smooth out and all the things, but making something look 3D, it just is more special and it looks more impressive and um, unique compared to just a cut out flat chunk of clay. One last thing is regardless of whether you do the 2D or 3D idea, you'll need to score and slip anything that you're attaching to your actual clay pot. So just keep that in mind. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and good luck.